Hello! We have someone very animated, just like us, team. And I'm fairly excited because I'm gonna brag about this. I knew about them before they started streaming. As a disclaimer, we're here to recognize two things. Happy AAPI month, my beloved Asian American Pacific Islander babies. And secondly, today's 32Q, just like any other 32Q, can only occur if the people here are able to make sure all of the information of the experiences, whether it's from the guest speaker, myself, or in chat, that we do not bring this outside of this episode. If you want to uh, approach them because you relate, fantastic. Don't do it when they're live and you intentionally trigger them. And if I find out you do that, I will beat you up. You know, don't do it. Don't do it. But I do hope that all of the experiences here today are going to be respected because this allows us to be vulnerable and share really cool sides of ourselves that we may not explore now without further ado please welcome our friend here mirage hey what's up everybody damn look at their hands oh <laughs> this myself anyone else their self i myself this is just crazy <laughs> before i continue with the questions here would you like to Introduce yourself, my love. Hello, everybody. My name is Mirage Omega. You can just call me Mirage. I go by he, they pronouns. I'm a, I'm a pretty laid back person, but sometimes I like to enable a little bit of chaos. Chaos is fun, right? It's nice to meet all of you. Some of you I already know, some of you I haven't met before, but it's good to be here with each and every one of you tonight. Thank you for being here. If you were able to live at the age of 90 and retain either the mind or body of a 30 year old for the last 60 years of your life, which one would you want? Oh my God, that is a tough one. I think for me, I'd have to go with the mind. Okay, what is your reasoning? I think one of the scariest things is like, uh, I don't know, that's a tough one because like, you have the mind of a 30 year old but you're trapped in a 90 year old's body. So it's kind of like you're trapped in a prison. That's a really tough one, but I still think I would go with the mind just because i value the creativity i have the randomness that i have yeah will i still have that will yes. i still have that when i'm older and that's something mm. that kind of scares me i have lost a lot of people and so for me memory is so important mm -hmm. if i go to a point where i can't remember certain people it would absolutely break me i've had one of my my grandma on the other side like look at me and said who are you? Are you looking for your mom? Well, bro. But you have to like smile. You have to pretend like, oh yeah, actually I'm actually looking for my grandma. You know, she may have forgotten where to me. Blah, blah, blah. It's such a heartbreaking moment. I would never want that to like be placed on someone else. I agree. That's why mm -hmm. I, if I, if I can, I would just retain my mind for, it, it's a weird place. My mind is a weird place, but you know what? It's, it's my mind. So I got to be yeah. happy with it and I got to embrace it. I got to embrace the chaos that is my mind. You know, sometimes it's nice, a little chaos in, in the stream moment, just, just with the controlled chaos in a way. Mm -hmm, sometimes mm -hmm. when life hits you, you're like, stop. <laughs> Name three things you and your partner have in common. Sense of humor. One of the first conversations you and I had like mm. off stream is when we realized like just how dark our sense <laughs> of humor was. And it was like, oh my God. <laughs> it was it was great though. It was great to find that out. I, um, and I remember I was like apology. I'm like, sorry, that was pretty dark. It's like, no, that's hilarious. I'm like, really? <laughs> Yeah, I love I love dark humor so much. I think another thing that we have in common is uh, how we're both introverts. How yeah. we both need that time to mm -hmm. recharge. The third thing I think in, we have in common is we're honest. We're we're very we genuine people. We are like we don't when the need arises, we don't we don't hesitate to just s say it as it is. Mm. You're like, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, and just call them right now and just I don't know. Mm -hmm. I feel like when it's especially in this space or whether it is Twitch or streaming or other any other platform, I think finding out like genuine people can be very challenging because to be genuine with others is to be vulnerable with yourself, right? And 
when I see like genuine, caring, and like compassionate people, like okay, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm in the right crew, one way or the other. Like I feel reassured when I'm with genuine people. And again, you never know, right? Like next next thing you know, everything about me is a lie. Like everything you it could know be a about persona. Me is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like too. There's there's the stigma where you know, especially especially for guys that they can't or shouldn't be vulnerable that there's like yeah this this whole thing where they have to like you know present themselves as you know having thick skin but i've always felt like it takes more strength to be like no you know what i i am gonna be vulnerable i am going to be candid about my feelings i'm going to let people know that i'm not okay if i'm not okay and to mm -hmm. me there's so much more strength in that and at the same time it's actually less exhausting to be that way than to like put on a facade that everything's okay it really is and so how do you balance it because there are days and like moments and it's not something that i do intentionally but sometimes i'll just be like say that i am okay and like put a mask on just because i don't want to talk about the shit i'm going through now for me I've learned that I have a lot of internal dialogue with myself mm. and there are some days where it's easy to put on that mask but mm. if you're telling if you're putting on the mask like you're okay but at the same time you're just kind of like feeling like you're dying inside it just kind of festers I, I do have that internal dialogue for myself you know there are days like if I don't if I don't feel like I'm okay, I'm just gonna like keep to myself for a little bit, just kind of like take a breather. If, if I am feeling that low and then come back to people later. But at the same time, I'll be candid about it. Like, hey, you know what? I'm not doing all right right now. I just want to mm. take some time to just like chill out, watch YouTube and just yeah. hang out for a while. But I'll be back when I'm okay. I feel like there's like, I have to address it as an entity. When I was working with my depression, I felt like I was fake because I I have this, the numbness, the the weight that comes with depression. But then with when I'm with my friends or on social media or even on stream, I'm always so happy and like loud and like, you know, bang, 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 X, Y, Z. But for a while, I thought like, I, I'm not a, I'm not depressed. I'm able to laugh. I felt like that was an imposter for the longest time. I felt really guilty um, to say that I had depression. And then I went to the doctor and then went to psychologist and blah, 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 went to therapy. And they're like, okay, only after a diagnosis that I like truly like let it sink in. I, f I feel like, you know, um, I'm, I've always been very transparent with how i feel and streaming and streaming is something that helps that is yeah because before before i started streaming like i kept to myself a lot you know yeah no 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 same same so i kind of thought does anyone actually care or no but you know mm. then i've got people who will like check in on me you know like hey how you doing it feels grounding when you have people like that you know for what in your life do you feel most grateful for? So I think because you you talked about it, um, one of the one of the thing or the thing that I am the most grateful for, at least now, is uh, the fact that I did start streaming, mm. and the reason and the reason for that is uh, this is the one thing that I have done that has pushed me so far out of my comfort zone that it's allowed me to have experiences and meet people that I would have never met if I never decided to take that leap into streaming because like at free and you and you know this you know this better than a lot of people it's like i had such apprehension about starting streaming about putting myself out there in front of other people and taking that leap has actually been a really big eye opener into you know it's not it's not easy for sure it's 100 percent not easy but it's rewarding getting to meet other people getting to hang out with them when they stream or even if they don't stream just getting to getting to hang out with them and yeah. you just you just kind of think to yourself would you have would i have these opportunities if i never decided to first of all come to twitch second of all start streaming so it's like you said before you know I'm, i put a lot of importance in the people in my life and that is something Thing that streaming has uh, enforced for mm. me is that 
people do be hella important. Whether we want to accept it or not. <laughs> and it's crazy though, because like, I don't know if you had, I don't know if you had this, but like before I came to Twitch, before I became active in Twitch, like it just had this stigma about it to like, I don't think this is a place I would enjoy being like, because you, you look at like all the bigger communities you know, and you just wonder is everything like that. But then if you take mm. if you take that deep dive and you you hang out with it, you meet some pretty damn cool people on this platform. You really do. Can I ask, when did you learn about Twitch? I know you've told me, but for chat. I started getting heavy into watching Twitch when uh, Grand Theft Auto roleplay was like a big thing. Yes. Like, oh my God. like when like when Saikuno was doing it, Saikuno and like all so the good. all the clean mm. boys like uh, Buddha, who's Mr. Lang, Tony. Like that, I used to yeah. love watching mm. all of those guys. It replaced it replaced YouTube for me as like because it's like a soap mm -hmm. opera, right? It's so deep and involved. But as far as like mm. finding like the uh, smaller communities, I remember um, there was one night like I was just kind of feeling depressed, you know, and I was looking through I was looking through Twitch to see like who was playing Jackbox, and I happened upon. And this is at four in the morning, my time, mind you. You know how Damn. bad my sleep schedule is. <laughs> so oh, I God. happened I happened upon this uh, streamer. His name is Fat Crumpet. And he was nice. playing Jackbox. So I go into his stream, give him a follow. And immediately, you know, he was asking me questions. Like something you wouldn't expect a streamer to do when you have the stigma. Like, oh, you know, they don't really care. You know, you're just another. Oh, yeah. But I'm like, just a username to them. Exactly. But he was like so invested in oh, me being cute. there. From there, like I still go to his. I moderate for him, too, nowadays. Wow. Wow. But I, okay. stuck, I stuck around. I've been there for about. A little over a year now Woo. and that one interaction is what opened me up to meet other people and go into other communities and from then on and then on and then on so i think you know that interaction right there just kind of reinforced to me like you know it's if there's people like him who like are that invested in getting to know someone who just like randomly hopped into their chat Mm. Maybe there's other people like that that I can vibe with. I think that takes a lot of um, courage to go to people's chat and like say F it, you know, with, exactly. and, then and carry on with the conversation. And like before that, like I would never break out of that comfort zone. So I'm glad that was the catalyst that encouraged me to become more involved and eventually get to the point where I'm at now.